So who is tired out there and can't figure out why? Well, we're revealing possible causes that have nothing to do with a lack of sleep. And uh, we have our interns, Allie and Alex, helping us out. So show us what the next potential cause might be, ladies. Ooh. Ooh. Build up. Dr. Wow. Uh, our ENT <laughs> physician, Dr. Orton, is going to tell us why. That That's right, out. Dr. Travis and Flem. What is it? It's mucus, and it's normally it lines our nasal cavities, the back of our throat, the oral cavity, and the entrance to the uh, air passages. Perfectly normal to have mucus there. But when you have too much mucus that's forming in your nose, whether it be allergies, sinus disease, other things like that, you may get an excessive buildup, so-called post-nasal drip, back in here. Let me show you that. Ooh, that's some nasty-looking yeah. buildup. So when that, when that blocks the back of your nasal cavity, it forces you to breathe through your mouth. And mouth breathers, we know, can lead to snoring. It may interfere with your sleep pattern. So potentially, the buildup of excess phlegm or mucus in the back of your uh, nasal passages will affect your sleep, and I'm still squeezing. While you uh, pump out that phlegm and mucus, I'm gonna show everyone on the magic wall. It's, it's a pretty simple concept. I mean, I don't need to reinforce this too much, but if you look here, a lot of, of mucus buildup, and this could be the case of a cold, sinusitis. It comes all the way back down through the airways here, and of course, what that can cause is obligate breathing through your mouth, increased work of breathing can absolutely have an effect on your feeling fatigued. If you're able to clear out those nasal passages, decrease that mucus buildup, you're just gonna be breathing a lot easier. That decreased work of breathing actually can enhance brain function. And it's subtle things like that. They may not seem like a big deal, but weeks on end with chronic congestion can cause real problems. And mm -hmm. obviously there are potential ways to cure it. One of our favorite happens to be that little contraction. To the netting top, there. yep. And you you've, seen us, you've seen us do this on TV where you tilt your head and you pour this with some saline into your nasal cavities and tilt your head and it irrigates out your nasal cavity and, and the back of your uh, of your uh, oral pharynx. And if you hate the neti pot, there are a lot of saline nasal sprays mm -hmm. out there just to clear mm -hmm. things out Steam. to breathe easier. Steam's great as well. Decongestants, mm -hmm. mucolytics, all those just things. Just think about these things because they have nothing to do with sleep.